This video is going to look at St. Irenaeus and the Irenaean theodicy. A theodicy, as we've covered in the past, is a way of justifying God. It is a way of explaining God's existence in the face of the existence of evil in the world. Now, St. Irenaeus actually came before St. Augustine, but it's always taught this way around. He always comes after St. Augustine for some reason, I don't know why. And also, good luck spelling his name in the exam, especially when you change it to the Irenaean theodicy. So, what is the Irenaean theodicy? St. Irenaeus concentrated on Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, where it says, uh, God, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. St. Irenaeus, Irenaeus, good luck saying it, believed that humans were made in the image of God in the sense that we have a moral nature. We are conscious beings with a moral nature, but we actually must grow into the likeness of God. And that for him, the ability and the opportunity to grow into the likeness of God is ultimately what his theodicy is about. St. Irenaeus claimed that God did not create a perfect world. He did not create perfect humans either. And the reason for this is because in a world of imperfection, an imperfect human can strive for perfection. So only in a world where evil and suffering exists can humans strive to develop virtues such as grace, love, mercy, kindness, forgiveness, generosity, compassion. How could we have all of these things if we lived in a perfect world? It doesn't make sense. For Irenaeus, what he said was that virtues developed through hard work were far more valuable than any virtues that were just naturally instilled within us. If we had to work to be good, then that good is more valuable than if we were made good like that. So, there's a guy called Richard Swinburne who's done some interesting stuff on this. He's well worth having a look into, having a read into. One of his main ideas is the fact that, you know, in order to develop, to develop compassion, we need pain. And the thing there is, to develop real compassion, you need real pain. The next video, we'll look at the 20th century philosopher John Hick and how he developed the Iron Age theodicy further. But remember, our focus in our class is to consider how faith inspires people to act in the face of suffering and evil. What do you think St. Irenaeus would say to that?